Hello, I'm here at MWC 2025 with Mobile World Live. And joining me, I have Sachin Cassie. He's SVP and GM Network and Edge Group at Intel. Sachin, thanks for joining us. Thank you, David. It's great to be here. So here at MWC 2025, Intel showcasing new network infrastructure technologies, as you'd expect. So how will these chips help modernize telecoms networks? Yeah, super excited about the announcements we have on deck here at MWC. In fact, just over a week ago, we announced our Xeon 6 family of processors. So let me start with the first one, which is the Xeon 6 SOC with P cores. I have it right here. It's this little baby here. Uh, it's the one with performance cores, and it's delivering on a promise of bringing Moore's Law to networking workloads. So for example, for VRAN and CloudRAN workloads, this SOC delivers a 2.4x increase in capacity, while also delivering a 70% decrease in power consumption. So you can pack in a lot more processing, a lot more uh, workloads in just one SOC. The talk is all about AI here, of course, so I cannot go to an interview without talking about AI, so the Xeon 6 answers the bell. Uh, it actually packs in AI acceleration alongside in this SOC. So you can run communications, networking, and AI workloads in one single SOC. Not to be left behind, it's sister, the E-Core, the Xeon 6 with e -cores. So these are our SOCs with E-Cores, efficiency cores. Uh, these have been shipping for a while now and are generating a lot of excitement for 5G core workloads in our whole ecosystem. Uh, for example, Nokia, really thrilled about this. They are seeing a 60% reduction in power without compromising key metrics like throughput, latency, and power. Uh, Samsung, it's seeing a 3.2x increase in capacity without significantly hurting their power consumption. Uh, Ericsson is seeing a 3.8x increase in performance per watt as they roll it out for their 5G core workloads. So our whole ecosystem, many partners like BT, Dell, HP, NEC, SK Telecom, all in various stages of evaluating this, uh, deploying prototypes and deploying production systems. So super excited to see the transformation these chips are going to bring to networking and telecommunications workloads all around the world. Okay, nice. So you mentioned it, the telecoms industry is embracing AI. So how does the Xeon 6 family address the complex and critical networking and edge workloads in particular, which arise from AI, I guess? I think one of the things you notice with AI is that there is a tendency to think of it as a separate workload. Mm. Uh, we think it has to be a workload that runs on the same systems you're deploying everywhere. Okay. The network and edge, uh, you don't have a lot of space. You don't have a lot of power. It has to go at the bottom of a cell tower, for example. So it really has to be one solution that can actually run not just AI but and your networking workloads too. So that's our approach, and that's what we are delivering with the Xeon 6 uh, family of processors. One solution that can actually scale across all of your workloads and deliver the workload consolidation and the TCO benefits uh, that we all need. So versatility, flexibility is key there. So uh, when you're thinking about the, the technology foundation of the telecoms industry, uh, it's, it's built on today, We've got AI automation going on. How is that going to modernize the networks of the future? Yeah, I feel we are all finally at the cusp of reaping the benefits of a journey we all started 10 years ago mm. around virtualizing the network and then making the network cloud native. And that is built on the foundation of an x86 programmable architecture. Right. That's really what brought the cloud technologies from the cloud all the way into the network. And now with AI, we now have the ability to actually drive that automation because these cloud native infrastructure are exposing the interfaces needed for AI to be able to act for AI agents to be able to act and drive that automation. So as networks around the world build their networks end to end using these open programmable systems with a cloud native architecture, I think we are on the cusp of reaping all the benefits of automation because of the advent of AI. Sounds like a step change ahead. Okay, Sachin, thank you very much and thank you for all the insights. Uh, enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you, David. It was great to be here.